Mike, the thought occurs to me that tomorrow might be a good day to have an ice carving championship because those sculptures would not melt. It's the first time this winter, Rob, that we've really had like prolonged cold. It's about time. I mean, you know, it's the middle of January. We expect this at some point. This the is coldest too. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we, we saw our coldest temperatures so far this winter just a couple of days ago. January 12th in Portland, zero degrees. January 11th in Bangor, eight below. And I think we actually might challenge these on Sunday morning. Sunday looks maybe just a little bit colder than this past Wednesday was. And even that, though, is going to be a bit of a roller coaster because it's bitter this weekend. We warm up Monday and then it's bitter again by the end of next week. We've got wind advisories in effect tonight. Highlighted areas in brown along the Penobscot Bay could see gusts over 45 or even 50 miles an hour. A couple of power outages possible, blowing snow possible down east. And I wouldn't be surprised to see that wind advisory get expanded because gusts are going to be coming straight out of the north between about 35 and 45 miles an hour. So lower end on the advisory criteria, according to the National Weather Service, but certainly enough that we are going to feel it and it's going to make it feel much colder outside once that bitter air rolls on in. We've got a storm off to our east today. This is really going to pack a punch for Nova Scotia and the Canadian Maritimes. Locally, we have this snow band that's set up across parts of Hancock and Washington counties. We might even get some snow all the way to uh, Hamden and Bangor out of this one. This is the part of the snow band that's most impressive, though, and it falls almost right over Callis. I'm going to be curious to see what ends up happening with snow totals here. I did adjust the forecast snowfall map and we'll show that in just a second. But notice that even models have generally been too far south and east with this. By two o'clock today, this model doesn't show much of anything going on in Maine, but we already know that's not the case. So I expect a lot of this data to start to shift off to the north and west and show more persistent snow through parts of Washington County. Temperatures are only going to be in the single digits below zero as early as eight or nine o'clock north of Bangor. And this is where we start the day off tomorrow. Temperatures near or below zero just about everywhere. Factor in the wind gusts. It's going to feel more like it's 30 to 40 below across most of New Hampshire and Maine at the coastline, more like 20 to 30 below. Uh, beyond that, though, I don't think that we have to worry too much about big impacts from today's storm. Four to six inches for far down east areas, two to four inches possible across most of Washington County. This is what it's going to feel like tonight, though, so get ready to bundle on up. I mean, tomorrow morning is just going to be brutal, bitter out there with wind chills well below zero. Cold air settles in for tomorrow lingers on Sunday. We track our next storm on Sunday. Two possible scenarios. This one is most likely though, where we have the storm actually run inland. We end up with heavy snow throughout the mountains in New Hampshire. The coast starts with snow either way, but then eventually ends up with rain and maybe some wind. But there is still just a few chances that we end up with a coastal hugger here, which would be a little bit more snow widespread. I don't have a snowfall map for Monday just yet, but as soon as that comes out, I'll let you know. Gale warnings going to affect this evening. Seas will build four to seven feet later on. North wind 20 to 30 knots, gusts to 45 knots. Bitter this weekend, snow and ice inland on Monday. Sunshine returns on Tuesday, but it is going to be cold and windy on Tuesday. We could see a few snow showers on Wednesday, Rob. And then by the end of next week, there's some signals that again will pull in Arctic air for next weekend. All right. Thank you, Mike.